everyone, it's me Elaine. So I am doing another update video on my acne scars because I had posted one yesterday but I felt like um, I had some new information to tell you so I'm just going to redo this video right now. Um, as far as my acne scar progress is going, I feel like it's getting better slowly each day. Um, you know, I had that one session of fillers, I think it was in January, and then in December I had TCA Cross and... What, what, what else was done? It was TCA Cross and Subcision, and that really helped a lot, I think. Like, out of all the treatments that I've had so far, I think that has helped a lot. Um, as far as the microneedling treatments go, after doing a lot of research, I have come to the conclusion that microneedling or the dermapen um, doesn't penetrate as deep as, you know, lasers or, or um, other devices. So, you know, when I had um, discussed treatments with my esthetician, I feel like I didn't get the best advice. So if, but I do believe that microneedling helps for those of you who have like superficial scarring and yeah, so I feel like I, you know, it did help a little bit, but not, not, it didn't help my deeper scars at all. That's in regards to the microneedling pen. Um, so silicone a thousand fillers, let's just talk about that for a second. I only had one session, so... Did I see improvement in my deeper scars, like the rolling scars? Yes, I did notice an improvement in that. How much? I would probably say anywhere from like 20 to 30% improvement. Um, um, like I mentioned before, I think in my other video, my doctor recommended me getting more um, TCA cross mitts. TCA cross treatments, I'm sorry, for my ice pick and um, my ice pick scars that I have a lot of ice pick scars. I also have a lot of linear scars. Um, my scarring looks really bad in like harsh lighting and sometimes it looks bad in natural lighting as well. Um, my scars look best in the morning, like right after I've woken up. Um, but I do want to say that my skin is still a work in progress, you guys. Like, I feel like I haven't even reached the my goals yet. I feel like all the procedures that I have done are just um, prepping my skin for, for more pre treatments to come. Because honestly, I had such severe acne that it just really scarred me pretty badly. And... Um, I was on realself.com where you can get suggestions and advice from actual doctors. So I had posted my pictures of my skin and this was after the silicone a thousand treatments and silicone a thousand treatments and um the other treatments that I had and I had posted pictures on there in pretty bad lighting and a lot of the doctors had mentioned this new treatment called Infini Microneedling and it's a relatively new um, treatment and I know not a lot of dermatologists offer it um, because a lot of dermatologists offer like lasers and stuff but Infini microneedling isn't a laser it's basically microneedling plus like radio frequency so it sends heat down to deep into the dermis and helps kind of break up the scar tissue and produce like more collagen so I've noticed that on my left side a lot of my scars are really deep and um, really really deep so I was thinking maybe I I could invest my money into Infidy microneedling and um, perhaps get like three or four sessions of that but the thing is that my dermatologist that I go to now doesn't offer it and so um, I would have to probably drive up all the way to northern northern San Diego to get that treatment done because I only know two or three doctors in San Diego after I've done my research that offer that. Um, but I will be having another TCA cross treatment at the end of this month on March 25th. So um, I will actually make a video about that because I know that um, 
the more TCA cross treatments you get for your TC for your ice pick scars, um, it'll be better, especially when you look into other laser treatments. Like, I feel like TCA cross just preps your skin for the heart, like the um, the finishing touches, like laser or other treatments like that. So I don't know if that made sense, <laughs> but. Um, yeah, this is my update, you guys. I also wanted to mention that I still kind of feel really self-conscious sometimes. Like, I know my skin has improved a lot and my cystic acne is gone. But there are just times when, honestly, you guys, like, I look in the mirror and I just feel so self-conscious and so... <sighs> I don't know, it's it's a feeling, it's like a, a feeling of, like, you just feel incomplete. Um... You know, all other aspects of my life are fine. It's just this one area in my life that gets to me so much. And I know that sounds vain, but I used to have... I never used to have these scars before. So the fact that it's on my face, like, it just... You know, it hurts me a little bit. Like, it hurts me emotionally. If it was anywhere else on my body, I don't think I'd feel as self-conscious, you know? Because people look at you in the eye, you talk to them in the eye, and you just feel really self-conscious... So I'm pretty sure all of you guys can relate to that. Um, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get another silicone a thousand injection treatment just because um, I the remainder of my scars are just ice picks and linear scars. So I I don't know if I'm gonna get that. But then I don't know. I have to talk to my dermatologist first on the twenty fifth. So I'll let you guys know if he suggests another session of silicone a thousand. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it that I have to say, um, you know, every day my skin, you know, slowly gets better, I guess, but it's still, there's still a, a lot of work to be done, you guys, honestly. It's not gonna, it's gonna take a long time. <laughs> but yeah, um, I will definitely keep you guys updated on my upcoming treatments. I will let you know how everything goes, and you know, for those that of you who have questions please leave them in the comments below like I'm here to you know offer my advice my suggestions so yeah I hope you guys are having a good month and I will see you probably during spring break okay bye